knowing that both the the one um, organization that you've mentioned, Quad Cities Interfaith, and the internship program is sponsored in large part based on a national collection that's taken in November. Any comments that you would make to people in 80 plus parishes as they approach an, that particular national collection? Yeah, I would say that, I don't know, like growing up I focused a lot on like charities and charities are great, but a lot of the change that needs to happen in our country is a lot of systemic change and we need the charities along with that to get us to until we get the structural change that we need. But that change takes a long time and it takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of hard work and I think it's hard for people to sometimes see what Quad Cities Interfaith is doing because it takes so long but it's impacting so many more people's lives in the longer scheme of things um, in a very positive way. So I think just remembering that maybe you can't see like an everyday effect of what Quad Cities Interfaith is doing but it's really doing a lot of great work and it has been in the Quad Cities for 30 years so keep that in mind. I would say as a kid I would never ever ever have thought that this is where I would be um, in college. Um, I never really, I mean my parents also always took me to uh, the soup kitchen downtown Omaha and that's where I, that's why I, I was there before this. <laughs> so um, I grew up with kind of the charity mentality in the house but um, never really thought about social justice and so um, CCHD um, providing the grant um, to have me as an intern, and I know I, I think I can kind of speak for a lot of the interns, it changed my life. Um, so that support from them really kind of shaped who I am today, and I'm very, very grateful. And definitely through QCI and CCHD, it wouldn't have um, been possible in the diocese, of course. So. And I would also say that we really need the young people to step up and I think that the CCHD program is a great way to get leaders that you know are going to be invested for the long haul. Like I know me and Corey will both, and hopefully Nick once this is over, <laughs> will be very invested in working for social justice in the Catholic Church in the future. So that is kind of what we need from our young people and so it's a great investment in the future. Absolutely. And I think with young people you need to have enthusiasm um, for this to happen. Um, one thing that I really love is hands-on experience. So um, whether it be service trips or going to a soup kitchen or being an intern for CCHD, QCI, um, I like to get in there and like I have enthusiasm for this um, type of social action. And um, I think putting that enthusiasm into other youth is really important. So.